It has been one year since these driverless shuttles started roaming around a central Florida town. Autonomous shuttles have been up and running in Lake Nona. It was a first for Central Florida. So we wanted to know how it's been going. We sent News 6's Clay Lapard to find out. And as he tells us, there are plans to expand. It's really pretty. There's a lot of options for Manushka Ramey and her mother, looking at homes here in the Lake Nona area. Over here, it's um, a little bit more affordable. To help in their search, they plan on enlisting an unlikely source. Beep, the autonomous shuttle that transports passengers throughout Lake Nona. I think it's cool. It's futuristic. In just the last two months, the Lake Nona company launched three new shuttle routes. One of the new lines here in Lake Nona is meant specifically for home buyers to get around the area easily and see all the new housing construction going up. New six was there when first responders trained with the shuttles. Where you don't have to be driving to be in the driver's seat and when Beep officially launched last September. By pressing the arrow up, you will accelerate this. While they can drive themselves, federal regulations say they still need to be operated by a driver using one of these controllers. Since then, the company says 16,000 passengers hopped on board, despite the pandemic pushing people to work from home and even halting the service for months earlier this year. If you look at the particular campuses that we serve here, the medical campuses, the town center, where we're bringing people from various locations across the residential areas. We see those as continuing to be very strong use cases. The company already looks to grow, launching shuttle service in Hillsborough County with plans on adding shuttles in St. Pete and Port St. Lucie before the end of the year. We believe late in 2021, we'll be able to take some of these routes and start to remove those attendants from the equation. In Lake Nona, Clay Lapard getting results, News 6. We're told over the course of the last year, traveling 9,000 miles, the shuttles have not been involved in any accidents.